Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to do numbers and calculations. In the previous lesson, I showed you how to install Python and install PyCharm, whether it's the community edition or the professional edition. Uh, but we're not going to be using PyCharm for these first couple lessons because it's pretty basic stuff, things that we're going to do pretty quickly. Uh, so numbers and calculations are the foundation for, for any programming language. It's important, important to know these these will seem really simple, especially if you've programmed in the past or 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 even used Excel in, in the past. It's going to be pretty simple, but super important. And there's some nuanced items that you do have to know and and recognize. But let's go ahead and get started. So you can use Python as a one big calculator. So for example, if you wanted to do five plus two, it'll spit out the result. Uh, same thing if you want to do five minus two, it's going to spit out the result. And as well, if you want to do multiplication, what you would do is you would do the asterisk, uh, which is just above the eight key, at least on my keyboard. Uh, and then it'll, it'll do the math for you. If you want to divide, for example, here, if I want to do divide, all you have to do is the slash and then it will divide as well. But you can also divide in this manner. So if we do uh, okay, in that manner, if you want to do divide and just keep the, the three, for example, then you could do two two slashes, then it'll just keep the three. So basically just drops the integers. So it's like as if you're rounding, always rounding down. Uh, think about it in, in that concept. If I, for example, want to know what the remainder is, uh, then you use this, this concept called modulus, uh, which is very common in a lot of programming languages, uh, is uh, you would do 15 modulus which is the percent sign four and then it will give you the remainder in this case it's three so just so that we don't just so you don't think it's the same thing if we do 15 divided by two we should have a remainder of one and this is really useful in a lot of concepts so when we get to the web scraping for example and you want to rotate between days uh, and you want to factor in the leap leap year then for example you would want to know whether or not something is a leap year so you go the year, in this case 2000, divided by 4, and if it equals 0, it would be a leap year. So it is a really uh, important concept uh, to know. Uh, so all, all these things are, are really important. And as well, if you wanted to do an exponent, so for example, if you want to do 2 to the power of 4, you would just do double asterisks. Oh, sorry. And then it will show you 16, which is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then there, there are the, the calculations in numbers. So pretty simple, nothing too complicated here. Uh, but it's important to know these basic functions uh, so that we can get on, go on to more complicated stuff. So in the next lesson, uh, we'll be covering strings, which again is not overly complicated. Uh, but there's definitely some nuanced items that you have to know and recognize before you get to the more advanced programming. Anyways, I'll leave it there. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.